I have a few housekeeping things also after the meeting just to just stick around for a bit uh, so we can go over. But as you see, uh, this is your third meeting. The next meetings will be on October 9th and October 10th. Next up, um, you still have this. If you have any questions about the requirements that will be due by the end of the semester, please let us know at the end. We fill out the four categories up for help again with the service, community service, community involvement, and college and culture. Again, you only need to attend one meeting, either on Tuesday or Wednesday, same hour, 2 o'clock to 2.30, either that or this. So, on Friday the 28th will be the uh, application deadline, uh, and that is with uh, the um, $35, $35 late, fee. late fee. Applications are due to uh, Dave Patterson in the library, room 101. If Dave's not there, just drop it off at the front desk, he'll take care of it. You'll need to attach your unofficial transcript, and if you're EOPS, the fee is waived, the full fee. Uh, next up, these are our uh, media links. These are Canvas. You can join by join, uh, clicking on that link. Uh, our Facebook page, YouTube page, all of our videos are up on YouTube. We're recording it this, uh, this meeting. We record all of our general meetings. They're saved up there. So if you actually miss one, you can still get a half point for watching the video and giving us five points on our uh, email address uh, and still get some ABS points that way and also our events calendar. Every single one of our events is up on our uh, Google uh, events calendar. You can get more information, any of the links are there. You can see how the points uh, stuff are. Also, if you have, uh, if you did not attend or you want to watch the slides again or not watch the video, all these slides are up on our Canvas page. So you can click the link there and see everything that we're seeing right now except uh, coming on the screen. As we've uh, mentioned before, Com covers pop-up pantries every Wednesday from 10.30 to 3. Uh, they have uh, setup shifts and breakdown shifts available. And if you're looking to uh, get some community service points, two points per hour, you can sign up here or talk to June and Lisa in the Sweden Health Services Center for more information. Uh, make sure you bring a volunteer co contract form uh, if you'd like to volunteer. This is a good way to get that community service place by working here on campus to knock some of those out. You can do it once, you can do it multiple times. Um, if you're not looking for community service, it's a good way to pick up some items uh, if you'd like here on campus. Again, it's every Wednesday. Uh, next up, a big thing we have coming on uh, in conjunction with Students for Social Justice is voter registration night. This is uh, this coming Friday, September 27th, uh, and it's in Sussman Hall 120. It's from 3.30 to 5 o'clock. There's going to be a speaker there, Connor Johnson, Johnston, uh, and he's going to be explaining a lot of things going on in the upcoming election, uh, the midterm, uh, some of the available uh, propositions that can be voted on, as well as some of the candidates. Um, there's going to be food uh, and a lot of discussion going on. If you would like to work there at the, uh, the tables that we have for voter registration, you can get two points per hour in AGS service. Uh, please talk to one of the board members if you are interested in doing that. Uh, and you can get one point per, per person you sign up in community involvement. It's a good way to knock some of that stuff out as well. And if you attend, you can get two points in, co in college and cultural for just attending. One more thing. Um, you can also get six points if you just vote for the state election coming up and that will knock out your entire community involvement. So please don't just get rid of it. We'll have more information on how to provide yeah. proof for that coming up for more towards the election. And then uh, a big social event we have coming up. This will be our second social event. Uh, we hold this every semester. This will be uh, our trivia night coming up on Thursday, October 4th. This will be in the Learning Center, LC39, which is on the first floor. Uh, doors open at 5.30. Trivia will be starting at 6. We're giving away about $150 in prizes. This is done in groups, so if you're not too good in trivia, don't worry, you can get it in a group and get with them. Um, two points in college and cultural just for attending. So you guys can sit there, have pizza, get some drinks, and just get some points that way. It's a really fun event. Everybody likes it. I should know I'm the one running it, so there's that. 
I encourage you guys to come out to this. It's a really good time. And then one of our uh, uh, next upcoming community service events is Black and Pay Day. I mentioned this to you guys before. It's a great way to both support your community and earn some community service points. It's two points per hour. This goes to the Tipperon Library. It's kind of a fun event for the community. They're doing it two different shifts, so you can work the whole day if you really want to. It starts at 8.30 to 1 p.m. and 12.30 to 5 p.m. And there's a sign-up form, uh, and you meet at Blackie's Pasture in Tiburon. Uh It's kind of a, like a family event, a kids event. Um, there, it's kind of like a fair atmosphere. Atmosphere, you go there. There's different um, events you can do. You could do like uh, run the ring toss and work the parking, bike parking, or just do the ticket. Um, I encourage you to go to the, the form there and sign up for stuff. The stuff has already been filling up pretty quickly. But again, it's a really good way to get your community service hours filled. We have a cultural event coming up, and this is here on campus. This is the River Bride. It's presented on September 28th from 7.30 to 9 p.m. This is in the Arts Building, but it's in the smaller one. Uh, it's not in the main auditorium. Uh, AGS will be going as a group on September 28th. It's not the only night that it's running. And this is in Studio Theater PA32. If anyone's interested in going, let us know. But again, we'll be going on that night. Uh, two points in college and cultural for attending. Again, this is on our calendar. Yeah, th this night, normal tickets will be $10, but on this night, it's kind of pay what you want to pay. So it's kind of like a free screening. Next up for College and Cultural, we have Beyond the Image of El Salvador. This is kind of a thing that uh, the library is putting on, uh, El Salvador is independent, uh, for the semester. This is an exhibit. You can get two points in College and Cultural for attending either the opening reception or for attending the exhibit itself. The opening reception will be on Tuesday, October 16th from 4.30 to 6 p.m. And it's in the, Marin, uh, the College of Marin Library on the second floor. If you attend that, please either get some of the material that's there and attach it to your points at the end or take a, uh, a selfie and send it to us. Or if you just attend the, uh, the ex exhibit, take a selfie while you're there. The exhibit runs from October 16th to December 21st. Our first semester bake sale is coming up on September 27th. We're going to be holding it from 9 to 2 p.m. You can turn in uh, two, up a dozen, uh, up to six three points. Dozen, right? Yeah, about three dozen. Yeah, per semester, and get two points per dozen. This is homemade baked goods, and you can also work the table and then just stop in any time between 9 and 2 if you'd like to work the table. And you can get two points per hour in EGS service. It's a really good way to knock that out. And what this does is it helps us fund things uh, like membership fees as well as uh, t-shirt sales and going to conferences and conventions for our members. Um, so if you're interested, let us know. If you're going to drop stuff off, drop it off early in the morning or bring it to the table if you can. Uh, and again, it has to be homemade. We'd appreciate it if you don't go to uh, Safeway and pick up a box of Oreos. <laughs> <laughs> Community service. Uh, our next one after Black and Pay Day is October 20th. So we're getting out this out information out to you as early as we can. Uh, this is going to be on Saturday, October 20th from 9 to 12. We're going to do Creekside Restoration uh, out by Hal Brown Park. This is across from the hospital. And it's kind of limited parking, but if you um, have trouble finding parking, you can park in the overflow of the hospital. And this is a really big event for the community. There's usually about 40 to 60 people that come out there. Uh, a lot of AGS members will be there too. I'm going to be there for this. It's really light cleanup work. There's also going to be planting that's going to be done, and a little bit of restoration as well for the area. Putting some stuff in there. Little light dirtiness. Bring some gloves if you have them, but they will be providing it as well. But wear good shoes. It's two points uh, per hour in community service. Another good way of knocking out community service. But again, it'll be families out there to uh, some older folks. Uh, good day to be out as well. And the next one we have is Ring Mountain Restoration. This one's a little bit harder because it's kind of on an incline up at Ring Mountain. If you've never been there, gorgeous views, beautiful in the early morning, but it's a little rugged. 
Uh, it'll be October 27th from 10 to 1 p.m. Um, some of the uh, most beautiful terrain in Marin County if you've never been up there. Uh, we're gonna be meeting at the end of Taylor Road. It's kind of like a dead end. I put directions both on campus as well as our calendar. The Mill Valley Film Festival is actually looking for volunteers. This is a yearly event, a film festival in Mill Valley from October 4th to the 14th. Um, there is a sign-up form here. Uh, if you're looking to volunteer for the event, there's two points per hour in community service. Each time you volunteer, you get a voucher that can be traded in for a movie ticket for the festival. And then if you go to the film festival, you can actually use that as a college and cultural event. So two points in college and culture. So if you go to see a film, that counts as well. So it's kind of like a two for one. And then our AGS Northern, Northern Regional Conference is coming up. This is November 3rd. This is an all-day event. It starts at 7.30 in the morning. It'll go to the late afternoon. If you're interested, please let us know. The cost per person is $20. Uh, AGS is actually paying for a bit of that for you guys. We need to know as soon as possible. The deadline for this, for you guys letting us know, is October 11th. We need uh, you guys to sign up here if you're interested, and there will be an application for you guys to fill out once you've let us know. Um, so Thursday, October 11th at 5 p.m. is the deadline for you guys to let us know. If you go, there's 12 points, and college and cultural for attending, that pretty much wipes out that whole entire field right there. And it's gonna be held down in Las Bonitas College, that's down in Livermore, uh, technically down in over in Livermore. Is anyone interested in going that? I want to maybe give a little hand. I got one. Okay, two. Yeah, maybe. All right. So see me afterwards, guys, and I can give you a little bit more information on that, and we can get your names on the list here. Excellent. Last but not least, we still have some of the T-shirts available, and a few other sizes of the older designs of our t-shirts and sweatshirts. They're $15 each. You get some points for AGS service if you get one. They're down in the office. Stop by anytime. We have office hours. We can go here right after this. And that's it. Thanks, guys. Thank you for coming. Our next meetings are in uh, Tuesday after the night, Wednesday October 11th. If you come to the Tuesday one, it'll be in this one. Tuesday, Wednesday one will be 18-238. I have some housekeeping things real quick. Um, I need to see Luz and Jessica if they're here.